Good morning, my little garlic fries. How are you today? It's wee Paddy from across the shock. And I have got an unboxing and I am flippin' excited. And when Paddy's excited, I can't hold it back because this has been sent to me by Framar Knives. Now, it's a mama's and papa's store, as the Americans would call it, in Blackburn in the UK. And uh, I've been talking to them. We've got, there's a few new knives coming to their store. This one's already in the store. Uh, more about that. I have never seen or held any of this brand, so that's making it even more exciting. You probably got it in the title. I haven't even made the title up yet. This has just come in the door and I've come straight out here. So this will literally just be a first look and then tomorrow I'll give you a more in-depth look on it. Let's open it up, shall we? Today it's getting the special knife, my hinderer. Slippy. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm going to give this away, I can't stop myself. This is a slip joint, but a modern slip joint. And I know a lot of you out there love your modern slip joints. So do I. But this one, for, oh, I can, stop, open up. Right, I can waffle for the whole of Ireland. Right, let me just see if there's anything in here. Look how well this is packed. Look at this. Lovely bit of packet here. I love to see a knife coming like that. And they sent it to me very graciously. Next day delivery, a special delivery, which is really nice. Because then I don't have to wait and get overexcited. Because, well, there's nothing worse than an overexcited paddy. Let me just go through this here and get in at the end here. Right, come on. And I know there's a letter in there. I'll let you know what it says in the letter in here whenever I come back to you tomorrow. Here it is. Oh, giant mouse. I have never had a giant mouse. I have seen them for years now, but I've never actually held one or used one. And the fact that this is a slip joint version is fantastic. I just... So excited. What else is on the box? Nothing much else on the box. Look at that. Isn't that a good picture? That is, that's going to be my thumb shot and my thumbnail. Definitely that's going to be my thumbnail for this video. Um. Oh, right. Let's get it open. I'm physically shaking. I'm 63 year old. Why am I shaking about it? I've got a couple of hundred knives and I still get this buzz. It's not right, you know. It's not right. My heart can't take it. <laughs> I hope you all feel like this when you get a knife. It's just a lovely, straightforward, basic box. There's nothing special about the box, but it's nice. And I like the artwork. Lovely. God, this is... I, I love packing like this on a knife. Now, what is this? There we go. It's the card. And it tells you about, you just said congratulations for buying your giant, giant mouse. Now, let's get this over here. And it comes in, oh man, it's in my cart. Uh, he gave me a choice. He, he only had two of these left in stock, but he gave me the choice of the my cart or the brass. I chose the my cart uh, because you get your own filth signature. I think it was Pete Cedric and he had done that. The Phil signature. That is brilliant. This knife is so light. It says it's 2.6 ounces. It feels <laughs> less than two. It is so. Now, it's not a tiny knife. But there's my hand. I'm about three and a half inches across my palm. So, I mean, that's, you know, it's hidden in my hand, but it's right at the extremities. Perfect size for an EDC knife. The micarta is beautiful. It's not the harshest of micartas you can have, but it's really... Oh, and a pocket clip. Hey, a traditional with a pocket knife. Paddy, what are you doing? Hey, I like them all. <laughs> I like them all. And a rounded pocket clip, wire pocket clip, means that in a small knife, because a small knife with a pocket clip, the other thing about it that sort of puts a lot of people off is that they can be uncomfortable, but the rounded wire is probably the best you could have for a small knife. Why Spyderco is so successful in their smaller knives with the wire clips? But let me just bring that up to you see. Isn't that... My, there is different grades in my carta. I'm sorry, 
but there is. And this is one of the higher grades of micarta. I love it. All the edges beveled over. Rounded spine. Absolutely stunning. I just love it. Oh, look at that. The crown spine on the blade. Can you see that all right? It is just beautiful. Is it centred? Only just up the smack in middle. <laughs> it's lovely. This is, you know, it's not a cheap knife, but it's not an expensive knife. It, this is a this is a proud carry knife. This is gorgeous. You're taking this out, even in the UK, just by looking at it and the size of it is not going to scare people. And I know we don't have to worry about people, but I do. That's just me. I worry about what people... I don't want to scare anybody with my hobby or my tool, whichever way you want to put it. This is friendly. I love the fact that it's like there's no end of your blade, the, the bolster. Oh, for goodness sake, Stephen. <laughs> you don't have a pokey bit at the end. It's all tucked in like a copperhead. It is beautifully. It's just the design is absolutely beautiful. Something between a copperhead and a canoe shape. Let's, oh, I just so, I so want this to be brilliant. I so want it to be brilliant. Now, and I'm saying that, I know I've talked, but frame our knives. Um, uh, Frank and Andrew, his son, are two of the nicest people. Andrew is the, he's better than me as a talker. He is definitely better than me. But I was talking away to him yesterday. This is only yesterday afternoon this conversation came. Uh, frame our knives are going to do Ben Belkin's knife, by the way, when it's coming. That's why I'm in contact with them. They're going to be the, the UK dealer for Ben Belkin and the UK dealer for Ace. And also they've been the UK dealer for Chris Reeves basically since they started. He has kept with Chris Reeves. It's, it's a gun shop and, it, you know, it doesn't have a huge variety of knives, but the variety of knives that it has are top class, like Chris Reeves, Giant Mouse, a Cloistrum if you want uh, the, the fixed blade knives. So... It doesn't have that huge variety, but the knives that have got, you know they're good. And you know, I think, having met Frank and talked to him, he's an old school gentleman. He really is. And, and if he gives you his word, you don't have to have it signed in a bit of paper. Do you know that sort of a man? You don't have to have a signature. If he tells you something's going to happen, it's going to happen. And that's just a couple of weeks of knowing him and speaking to him. You just know that's him. But anyway... <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm holding it off because I so want to love this so much. And I know this was sent to me by uh, Framor Knives, but I, I'm certainly not going to get overexcited if it's a bad knife. And, I, and that's what I don't want it to be a bad knife because Frank has told me it's good. So I believe him. And that's the excitement. I believe him. Nice pull. Not, not an over hard pull. Oh, <laughs> hi, flipping. Listen to this. Nice opening, but listen to this, right? Oh, perfection. Perfection. That sounds perfection. Now, the half stop is really solid. It just comes to an abrupt stop. This doesn't sound great because it's not a traditional. This is going into a knife that has got an enclosed back spring. It's got my cart. So it dulls the sound of the, the end of the walk and talk. But this is just Ah, oh, I am so happy. That is such a lovely sound on a slip joint. Such a lovely. Look at that profile. Is that just gorgeous? Now, let me just... Oh, here. Here, 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 here. I don't even need to go much more. Oh, my flipping goodness. Look at the stock on it. That's the stock you want on a an under three inch blade. You don't want a four mil, five mil stock. You want that. It is just perfect. Look at this. The tip. It's not needle neck, but by gosh, it's great. It looks. It actually looks well supported. Although it's really thin, it looks well supported. It's a full flat grind. I think it's flat. People always ask you, how do you know if a blade's flat or not? Here you are. Here's a wee tip. A ruler. A flat ruler. Put it across the blade. Okay. If you can see underneath it that you can't, it means that it's a full flat. 
and that's how you tell the difference between a hollow and because sometimes hollow blade hollow uh, uh, knives it's quite hard to see them and decide whether it's a hollow or not that's the way you do it straight ruler set it on the top it tells you whether it's hollow or not but that is a full flat and it is so thin behind the edge. Does it come sharp? I've no idea. It's new, you fools. Here it comes. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> oh Frank, you were right, my good friend. You were right. That is just the way a knife should come. Packaged well. I just can't tell you. I love this micarta. The feeling of, the, of this in my hand. Now, is, is it a full four-finger grip? You know, probably not, if I'm going to be honest. I have a large hand, so I'm getting the last finger on about there. But this is a small EDC knife. That is a perfect grip. I actually would force myself to go off the end and tuck this finger in the back, and then I've got a really super... So, oh, it's just a great feeling. If you get smaller hands, you'll not have that problem. But this, you know, this doing this like this, to me, I've quite a lot of knives, especially zip joints, where I pop that last finger in at the back of it. It gives you a bit of, you know, leverage when you're pushing into a cut. Remember, it's a slip joint. Never push up. <laughs> yeah, you want to be pushing down, especially with the corner, push down. Then all the direction of the 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 power of the, the cut is coming up through the knife. When you're cutting down like this, there's a tendency when you stop for the, the folding knife to come this way. So just be careful. Just be careful. I know I'm telling a lot of people to suck eggs, but I'm trying to contain my ex excitement. There's it beside my hinderer, which is another UK legal knife with a bigger handle, bigger price tag too. I still haven't, I've got to find out the price of the knife. But what I can tell you is that as I was saying, Frank was saying down at Frame R Knives, he has just sold the batch. They just went nearly straight away. He has one brass one left as of this morning. And the brass looks lovely. There is another review on YouTube. If you go on to YouTube, just type in Giant, uh, Giant Mouse Ace Farley. Farley, which is what the knife's called. I didn't even say that, did I? It's the Giant Mouse Farley. If you go on to YouTube, there's a, a fella done a review on the brass one. I can't remember who he is. Just pop over there, type it in, and you'll see the brass one. It's actually not a whole lot heavier than this. I think it's just over the three ounces, but it looks really nice. I, You know, yes, it's lovely, but I just love this like this. This warm feeling of a little pocket knife just is completely gorgeous. The nail neck is, oh, for goodness sake. Is it good or is it good? Nail neck on both sides. How many times do we say that? I wish they would put a nail neck on both sides. Then it does left and right. And it also helps the look of a profile. I love that. The only thing I can see on the blade is the ace. Can't even see what that says there. It's that small. And you know what my eyes are like? It says, let me just get a quick look off the camera. I didn't even mention it, did you? It's M390. <laughs> so you're not going to need any more on a knife than M390. You, look, in my life, I'll never need M390, but I've got it. I've got it. And that's the other point of it. I've got it. What a cracking little knife. Now, this is a fair bit over the hundred, but you know, that's what you, you pay what you, you get what you're paying for. Here's another one I got recently, which is in that same bracket of this as a little EDC knife. Let me just move that out of the way. I'll put that up there. This is the uh, Junzi, the best tech Junzi. They're near enough exactly the same size. This is a more budget version. Um, steel, it's G10, but they're two lovely knives in two different price brackets that are not fighting against each other for people to buy them but they're both this is a beautiful edc really is lovely and i've been using it the last few days but this yeah do you know what they say you can feel a bit of class you can feel a bit of class so i'll look i'll tell you much more about the knife much more about the maker uh tomorrow i need to go away uh have a nice cup of tea calm my nerves down look at that pocket clip is that not just beautiful it is lovely. 
almost decay, but doesn't really matter. It's a UK legal knife. I mean, so, and it's, you know, it's, it, you don't have to live in the UK to have a slip joint. You can buy this from anywhere around the world. And let me tell you, Frank will sell it to you anywhere around the world. <laughs> or Andrew. I'm, I'm saying Frank and Andrew. But, it's, but they're both, they're just both lovely fellas. I just highly recommend this. And so the other thing I meant to say to you, Frank is getting another order of these in. It's due in whenever it's due in. You know what the postage is like, especially when it's coming from Europe. And what he's going to do is, if you want one of these, he's not sure of what stock he's going to get. It's not going to be a huge amount, but he will keep getting them as we buy them. And as a channel, I would love you to pop over. If this is what you want, what he's doing, he's going to open up uh, a list. So if you go to Frame Our Knives, just go on to Instagram. I'll put his telephone number down below in the description with the name of his uh, shop. Uh, if you go there, you can get your name put down on the list. So it's first in, first serve. Whenever they come through, he'll contact you, take your money and send you the knife. So get over and do that now if you want them. Um, it's probably only going to be 10 to 20 each time he gets them. And he'll get, I don't know where he gets 10 of each. That's all to come in the future. But he's starting a list if you want them. Get over to Frame Our Knives as quick as possible. First there, first on the list. There's you just he'll go down the list and sell them to you when they come in. This already, you know, you know when you know, don't you? You know when you. I know, I know. This is a stunning knife, absolutely stunning. Blade centering is, oh, it's only right up the middle. For goodness' sake. <laughs> I, love, I just love it uh, the pivot I hope it's captured looks like it should be and it looks like it's about a T8 on there and T6 maybe even 5 but we'll do that in the, the main thing <laughs> I've got to stop right get over to Frank at Framar Frank or Andrew and get yourself down on the list it's a pre-order list they're coming in be there or be square Paddy's away with his old 1970s waffle. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.